The Grudge relives the historic rugby match between England and Scotland for the 1990 Five Nations Grand Slam, which, set against the tumultuous and controversial rule of Margaret Thatcher, came to embody the rivalry between the two nations on the rugby pitch and beyond. It was just an absolute wall of sound from beginning to end. I've never heard such an emotional rendering of Flower of Scotland as we've just heard. The film features contributors from both sides of the border, including Jim Telfer, Sir Ian McGeekin, Gavin Hastings, John Jeffrey, and Rob Andrew. Produced by Tom Boswell, it's based on the book by Tom English, a well-known author and journalist who now covers sport for BBC Scotland, and it's the latest instalment in the acclaimed BT Sport film series, which airs on BT Sport on Friday night at 10.15. Yeah, look, I, I had limited involvement in it, very limited. Uh, it's all Tom Boswell and his team, uh, the responsible for it. Uh, I think they've done a brilliant job. You know, a great, a great job. They brought it to life. Obviously, I wrote the book in 2010. The book and the film are very kind of very different projects, different ways of, of doing it. For an Irish guy watching Scotland beat England in a Grand Slam, I was I was still quite emotional watching it. I think the mayhem of the game it only increases over time when you see the desperation in the Scotland defence, the will to win. They're they're kind of incredibly steadfast refusal to let England through in the last plays. These were rugby men, but they were people. They had lives, they'd come from somewhere, and they were interesting, their backstories. That's what I keep trying to dig into, about Telfer's life, about McGeekin's life, Brian Moore and Will Carling on the other side of it. Um, these are deep people, you know? There was bad feeling between the two teams from two years earlier, there'd been a carryover up at Murrayfield. It was just a dreadful game of rugby. It was just an awful game of rugby. And actually, the two coaches had to go each other afterwards. Derry Grant was coaching the team, 86, 87, 88, and Geach, Ian McGeechan, was his assistant. After the 1988 game, I've never seen Derek as angry about a game of rugby. And it was because of what England didn't do, wouldn't do, and weren't prepared to do. And he said, look at all that talent, and all they've done is destroyed a game at Merrifield. It left a sour taste in the mouth. When we came off the field, I said to Cookie, right, Cookie, I'm just going to pop round to uh, the Scotland change room and just thank for the game. He said, I don't think you should. No, no, I said, it's uh, Geeks is round, and I just want to go and say, you know, thanks for the game, lads. He said, I don't think you should. I said, well, I'm, I'm going to go. And I walked round to the changing room, and the, the changing room was, their door was slightly jar. And I knocked on the door and said, uh, oh, it's gone, geeks, Derek, I uh, just want to say thanks for the game. And they all looked at me, and Derek Grant <laughs> turned round and said, you must be joking, he said. <laughs> and uh, I thought, oh, I just turned around and walked out. I went back and told Jeff, and he just said, told you. I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. It was, uh, it was full of a lot of humour, I thought, and uh, beautifully uh, presented and produced. And, and um, you know, I think it, it, in the build-up to the game, it showed a lot of, um, you know, England's wonderful play uh, during that Five Nations. And, and obviously, um, Scotland kind of... We muddled through a couple of games, you know, particularly the away matches against uh, against Ireland and, and Wales. And, um, you know, we had a fairly easy victory against um, France at home at Murrayfield. But, of course, the film is all about the, the final game. And uh, you play for your country for 10 years and uh, there are moments that stand out and that are just a fleeting few seconds. And, and clearly that is, is one such moment. You've always got to think of the positive, even when I, um, when I put the ball out in the full at the start of the second half. Um, you know, two minutes later, we're, we're getting a try that wins us the Grand Slam.